Excellency, uh, the former governor of uh, Borno State in the Second Republic, uh, Al Haji Mohamed Goni, uh, who also was the uh, candidate of the uh, People's Democratic Party in the last gubernatorial election in Borno State. Uh, uh, despite uh, uh, people of me to do that, and they, if you do it, your people will not be happy at all. But I could anywhere I go, I can uh, talk it out. But now that they are stronger than you, because they have the government, they have the money of the government being used for their purposes, there's nothing much you can do. Yeah, I was going to come to your case, actually, the case in the petition. And what I wanted to actually uh, get clear about was the fact that you said uh, during your government, uh, I wanted to ask actually whether during your time there was no opposition because was there no opposition during your time when you served as a governor in the second It was PP, it was the uh, NPL. Yes, so, was, so if there was an opposition, mm -hmm. uh, did you mm -hmm. not offer this kind of fellowship to them to come and serve under your government to help the builders there? I did. So, and then if you did that, mm -hmm. why are you now... They, they, did not, they, did not, they did not accept it. Why didn't they accept because it? Because your philosophies are different. Your philosophies are different. This party believes in this, while the other party believes in this. And they feel, for example, I was one of the first person to even tell, in when giving out contracts, I said, look, allow these people from other parties even to make work. We feel a candidate is good and good. I remember giving to Alaji Ali Kotoko. Yes. And Alaji Ali Kotoko, one of the very biggest of this thing. He only just talked to me and he said that no, he will not be in a position to take it because uh, that is not his party. You, have you heard of this Alaji Ali Kotoko? He's just like going to be one of the very big uh, in the to do. Yeah. So in short, uh, usually any party with good principles will not want to go in to just serve because uh, you, are, you have the government, because your principles are different. Some out of fear, some out of uh, what you call fear um, principles. Yeah, but your party, at the, even at the national level, mm -hmm. has worked, has invited other political parties to come and work with, and they have uh, how many? They not many. Accepted. They are not many. They are not many. Accepted. They are not many. Yeah. They are not many. Yeah, but how many of them? Can I know that ANPP has served in the federal government under PDP government. Today? Not today. During mm -hmm. the it's the same party, mm -hmm. isn't it? And mm -hmm. so it but there are not many. There are not many. Yeah, but and yeah, usually you find that those people who have gone there, for example, do you know that the deputy, the Ross deputy governor, was to have been uh, to stand with Kashim, who was my opponent, uh, to be the, uh, this thing, but because they didn't like uh, uh, our style. The Kashim asked him to be now deputy governor to ANPP, which means he automatically becomes ANPP too. So most of the things which you, where you have seen are people who have, out of their own inclination, decided to even leave the party opinion to come to this thing. Parties, for example, in the south, can you have that? In the south, particularly in the south, you can't have that. What I mean is. Uh, uh, they, there is this political majority yeah. whereby the principles are stronger. Uh, so this is, this, is, this is the answer. Yeah. So that even those who have accepted it, you find if you go in deeper, they might have shifted to the other party. Yeah, and then now if we come back to your case, mm -hmm. the tribunal, mm -hmm. the appeal, and things like that, mm -hmm. uh, the case was actually supposed to be done in uh, Borno, mm -hmm. but because of the security problem, yes. uh, the tribunal felt yes. they are at risk yes. to carry on in Borno and they had to move Ship to, a, to Abuja. Yes. And then there was this allegation that you people did not want it that way. 
you know, uh, against that. You know, that was the truth. What was that was so the What was the truth mm -hmm. about it? That we 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 in fact we it is there. The word is that that um, uh, we uh, we in fact but uh, immediately accepted it when they said because of the security situation, but. The judges, you know, they wanted to use that, the, uh, the tribunal chief, who have started this, um, this uh, sitting, sitting, sitting on our case to kill the case. The tribunal, you know, the, 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 the case started, this killing of the time started with the tribunal, who speaks the same language, of course, with his bosses and the Supreme Court. But uh, appeal court had never been with them. The Supreme Court said, no, you have to hear them. You cannot determine the case. And in fact, they allowed Benue and the Aqua to go ahead, but they waited until my case was done. They came back to say, don't no, worry, it's been thrown because of time. So this one should not continue. So, but uh, where does and why does ANPP play any role there? Because I know that these things were. No, 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 no. I, 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 I mean, no, 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 I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not, I told you ANPP has. Yes, it, so, I mean, so, yeah, I know, mm -hmm. I know you've not told me. But the only thing, if but, has, I'm coming, yes. if ANPP has led any part, it has bought the Supreme Judges. The government is where. Uh, uh, but you have, you have your party at the center. Center, who are the ones that appointed these tribunal members? Yes, my party. Do, do you know that I, I even never had, for example, the MVP had by a party SAN, you know, uh, and of course the government has also its own SAN. In my party, do you know that there, there was not even a single uh, lawyer for a federal of my party? My party would only wish me. Uh, the best. So they why, did, why were they not supporting you? Why were they give, not giving you that support? Oh, well, they are supporting me. For example, when it comes to um, uh, party, uh, what do you call it? Um, anything that that is to do assisting you from the party, you know, to to the legal practitioners. Party has been throwing doing that. The only thing is that is the uh, NPP will not use sorry PDP will not use government money to give you. The party will will of course help your lawyers through you if the party for first party for come. But with, in, the, in the case of their their own, they are free to do as they wish because the government is their own. I have done with the government. Federal government is everybody's government. And is a government in its own. So far, and the and, and, and ANPP, you know, and, and the PDP, 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 the party has a responsibility also to ensure that their governors win or all, all the, uh, their political supporters win. And so, whenever it comes to party uh, lawyers and so on, on financing, that is all. That is what the PDP has done, done to me. That is, they have assisted in ensuring that my lawyers worked for me. Unlike uh, where you are free to take any money you want from a government, give it to the party. Because the, the party itself will be crying of shortage of funds. And, and you know the federal government is, is, is not easy <laughs> really for you to be buying from the federal government. It's not. That's the first thing, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, if you say uh, protest, this protest, they, you, why should we secure? Uh, they said because of security and they brought it. But they sat on this case until it was on this side. And what happened in Abuja was when they sat on this in a number of days, 180 days, they continued, you know, shifting it from today tomorrow, today, until it was very close to the deadline. And then in the last sitting, you know, they, uh, the tribunal, uh, the tribunal, uh, the tribunal um, decided and openly decided that, look, next time, next sitting, when we come, we'll dispense with the case. 
Then I asked my lawyers after the closure, say, I want to let me see who we came. They have not asked me even what I brought. How, how can they determine their case without hearing from me? The, the lawyer said, oh, I'm now talking to you of the, what happened in Joss. Then the lawyers uh, they said, well, uh, sometimes court will do it. But I said, ah, that we have few days, but can you determine somebody's case and sitting on it? And throughout, I know that we have never even allowed it to be laid. Every time we question them, time is coming, time is coming, time is coming. And then suddenly you tell me, hey, my case is up. And next time we pass a judgment. How can you, without listening to me, pass a judgment? He said, well, some, some folks do that. So I said, well, I, I, I don't agree with that. We, we have to appeal to the appeal court. That's what took us to us. That is, we had already sent our letter to Joss telling them that, look, um, this time is running out. And, the, and the, the, these people have told us that next time when they sit, they will determine the case. How can they determine our case without hearing us? So Joss now quickly appeal court, quickly called uh, someone does uh, to appear with them uh, and gave us a few days within which to now determine whether they have a right to decide a case without being heard. Be hearing the other, 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 and that is where in Joss they say no, you have to go back uh, and hear them. And in fact, they advise that they not advise that uh, the, the, since the time up, it has to be a new, um, new tribunal. Now against that new tribunal, they also appeal to the Supreme Court. Uh -huh. Supreme Court, so the Supreme Court came back to say that no, they should go back to the old tribunal and be heard. When we went back to the old tribunal, the old tribunal of course repeated the same thing. And we knew what they were going to determine. They said, your time is up, and therefore uh, the case is, what is it, uh, dismissed. So it was from there that now we appealed to the uh, to the again appeal court, you know, uh, appeal court, and said, ah, instead of them having given us this new, this is what we got. And do you know that appeal court had already even given them order uh, in the next meeting uh, for a new? That is, you know, when we went back, appeal court, appeal court said, no, this is wrong, and it has to be a new tribunal. Now Supreme Court refused to accept this and say no, the, the, the old tribunal decision stands. So whatever the Supreme Court decided, of course it's final. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that's how now, when we appeal, it's the same set story. They said on your number of days is in fish. But if you knew that the Supreme Court verdict is final and they had already passed a verdict, why did you have to go back again to the appeal court? It was like challenging what the Supreme Court had done. Mm -hmm. uh, Supreme Court, this issue of, this issue of, as I said, this issue of aha, uh -huh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, venue and the occurrence came before us on the issue of being heard, and it was the chief chief justice of Federation Dairo who sat on that panel and told them that no, you can't, your case cannot be determined without you being heard. You should go back to be heard. So we said, oh, oh, it means we have a right now to also appeal against this uh, civil guy, uh, yes, this thing. Because, it, you know, the, the Supreme Court will tell you to, whenever you are making a tribunal, it is the appeal court which, which appoints it. Once it touches the tribunal, it is a appeal court which, uh, which, which uh, does it. So now, the, the, when the Supreme, the Chief Justice himself has said that no, we have to be heard. And he, he, in fact, it was a very political, even interesting statement. He said, yeah, how can you? He said, all these 
uh, political cases are um, facts, matters of facts. That is to say, if A and B contest against uh, each other, you have to uh, count the votes and know A got this, B got this. Whoever got the highest wins. But you can't say that no, the colonel will hear it because your days are done by. And dispense this business with it. So, you haven't, if you have read the, this thing, you know, this confusion of all that, they knew of it, it was there. I wish I would bring you the, uh, this, uh, the, some, some of your students wrote, is, is it from UK or America? America. America, I go. Uh -huh. if, yeah, I wish I can bring that you, you, for you to read. Where they said the the, the tsunami uh, uh, of Goni's um, case. This, when when my case decided, they now went back to sweep all the right ones which are going on. That of the, the earlier of the Okadom and uh, and Benue. They said no, uh, your numbers are this are number. So that unfairness. Is there? It's clear. How can you uh, really? Uh, and do you know that they have already appointed? Uh, they have already appointed a new tribunal to try us when this uh, this tribunal uh, came. So uh, the name, even the names were already there. Name from the appeal court for for our uh, for our ret what you call it, retrial. You know because it was wrong how they did it. But because of the, um, this now final uh, the decision on us, you know, uh, by the Supreme Court, all has to be smashed. And the now appeal court issue has closed. Just there. Up to now, there are those who are appointed, and the names are there. And the, uh, it's a clear case. It's a clear case of wrong. And you, uh, we are really into because it means, it shows me, in fact, man, what, what this means, do you know what this means is clearly this, that if the courts don't want, you don't have to, you, you, you cannot win an election again. You cannot win because of corruption. There's no question about it. The courts, if they, if they like, they can change me again, that's the worst they can do. Well, well, uh if we come back to the this security thing in Borno, and uh, there seems to be a train in the, the there seems to be a train in where casualties of personalities mm. in this crisis is taken. Mm. It seems that uh, some particular political group are more uh, significantly affected. Mm. Why is it taking that trend? I'm not sure what you are saying. Do you, I, I, do, to be honest with you, do you know that these people who uh, look at the Boko Haram thing is a clear case of anybody or it can be anybody, Amara, uh, Christian Pastor, an Igbo man, a Yoruba man, a Nuri man, it can be any anybody, anybody. But for example, uh, do you know our member of House of Assembly, Kolduga, uh, uh, Kolduga? Mm -hmm. She was killed by this. Thing. And when we went back to the election, we didn't win again. I member House of Assembly because there's this tendency of people think. You see, PDP did not have the, you know, it, 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 it did not have that strength in Borno to influence things earlier until this election, our election. I told you they did not even have a councillor. Councillor, one councillor. But it is the same youth now who are rejecting particularly uh, this MPP because of the wrong gay government they had, bad governments they had. So anybody telling you they are Is, is a lie to, to say that they like this party or this party. I'm telling you, it can be anybody. But the trend seems as if it's the other political parties being affected in terms of the people that are being 
No, 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 no. How, how, how can you count it? You, maybe if you have uh, some fairly senior people, you, because they, theirs is bad governance, uh, uh, a question of bad governance. So anybody um, um, whom they feel is not right, to, for example, what have the Igbos or Yorubas to do with your NP in Boro? What has to do? Several uh, people who have big, big shops. You know? Some of them live there, um, maybe women, sisters, or communities uh, or uh, houses or some other kind of thing. So that uh, nobody can claim. No? Nobody can claim. Because they, if, if they did anything, NPP uh, was everything. Do you know that even this election that, that they have done me is the, the, the NPP which is majority coming back to me? It's not BDP risky. Majority of the, as you are telling me, why is the party political uh, personal this thing? It's not my party which won this thing. No, all the other parties, you see. My party was nothing then, earlier. Well, yeah. well, uh, efforts are actually being made to mm -hmm. see that the security challenges in Borno is really just Take it down. Mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. even the Shehu of Borno himself yeah. recently convened uh, a meeting. Okay, yes. I'm sure probably you have. How was that? You were How there. was that? Uh, mm -hmm. How did you look at the effort he's making and well, what he, contributions he, are we people giving to ensure that the security is yes, in this? Yeah. That's a good question. Actually, the show also felt concerned, you know, about uh, this thing. You know, even if uh, attempt was even made on him. Emir is a, uh, even even Chica in the Yobe State, attempts were made on him. You find of this city heads, you could, uh, village heads. It's a mix of everything. Malams, big malams, there are a lot of pupils killed. Um, the chef of the law, of course, um, is to emphasize that look, this is for all of us. The country is for all of us. And the position of the chef is for every, the post is everybody's father. Yeah, we should all have to come together. Maybe, in fact, my idea. Uh, and the party may think differently, but they have come to discover that it's not a purely a party affair. It's a completely a new team whom you cannot identify, to be honest with you. And uh, no one, how can any good man really think of people being killed for nothing? Children, schools bad, for example. Schools. So he, uh, he appealed to all of us that we should be having uh, this communication uh, frequently. Uh, we have set up a committee now to be linking up with the Shehu, with the uh, ordinary people, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, major stakeholders, the rich and the poor, even they, 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 or what do you call them, um, people, um, some of them may be facilitators, to be always talking the same language to ensure there is peace. So it's a, it's a general uh, attempt at really um, making it everybody's affair. Uh, that you, 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 because you don't have cause for having any grudge against you, because nobody, even if you have a grudge, you're not killing you one. You, uh, you're not killing you one. But this one, I, to be honest, I don't know. For example, you, you, is not alone. You'll be look at it in Kano. Of course, your own area, look at it in Kaduna. Sometimes you can say this is tribal. Sometimes you can say this is uh, uh, religious. Sometimes you are not sure what, what it is for. Yeah. It's, uh, so wise. Uh, some, you know, some, uh, that is why, you know, some big people would do. Say it even in our this thing that God can sometimes punish people if they do wrong. Then we say, What have we? Uh, we must have done something wrong. We have to improve on our, um, on our uh, uh, behavior because it, uh, as if you know, God is uh, unhappy with it. Otherwise, we have no reason to them. Why children? Yeah, you see, uh, 
if you look at uh, the case in uh, Borno and mm. Plato, mm. there seem to be some big difference. Mm. Borno is not a case of a religious kind of thing. Mm. I don't want to look at it like mm. that because mm. it's not the people carrying arms against each other. Mm. No, it just it does seem as if uh, some people are trying some people are behind the scene pushing some people to do certain mm. things to satisfy their interests. It does look as if uh, is it political? I don't understand. Uh, well, why it, it, has it can't be political. Be political. It, because if you say political, I am telling you why it will keep people from other areas. I don't know. Probably some people just want to make a uh, the place, as I, as, as I the say, place as, as I say, as I say the, the, gov the government cannot also, the Alice government cannot save itself from this thing. As I told you, remember now, where he told this man, uh, General Hussein, openly said that these boys will be useful for us in the party. So if anybody is using them, this ECOMO at the time, we are using them against each other. Even now, the, the problem is in the, that. Because they feel that now they nobody can win in Borno, their problem is the clash is between their leadership. So, if there is any enmity, it's between them. And you cannot just ask, actually, at least government for what is happening in Borno. I was a governor. I knew how the young boys came back to now say their parents say that this man should come back. They are not taken care of. But if the way they were taken care of. In 2009, that was the beginning of the whole thing. You know, when this useful man was there, when there are people who are killed by police, you know, and it's soldiers, soldiers, are, soldiers, and so on. Yeah. So, whatever claim you bring, you just cannot have, cannot assure that at least government from this game. You can't, you can't. All of us are coming only later on. As you say, for example, we, I was really not warm in political activities. Because I have seen that it was not easy, you know, to win uh, today's election because they, they have taken, taken different culture style, uh, which was not the type you used to know. Uh, and that was why the young men were aspired more, they competed against us. Uh, but somehow it is the same young men now came back to say, uh, please, and they showed it. We know where they are supposed to show. So it's, it's an issue of, I think I wish you could get Ali and Ko also to interview them, hear what they would say. But uh, the whole of Borno, this is eight years or so. Malas, Malas was a part, Malas was the APP or APP Ko? APP. APP what? We become to APP. Okay. But nearly, is it 15 years or so, all of them are uh, under the NGP. So whatever crisis you bring, you have to go back to the root of it. And it is known, this is the root of it. Was one of his uh, commissioners not even appointed from these people. But yeah, when things were not uh, all that uh, even looking, when virus was not there, but the, this commissioner died is one of the people who, who was killed also. So uh, it is, it's, it's, it's a government itself. We have not even come to the government to be influencing things that, that much. We were about to come in, and, uh, and, uh, and as I told you, even this election, you find that it was those, look at this for example, um, Ndume was uh, in the NDP, he came to us, so he's coming help to win us this um, the center no no the south uh, the south because uh, his AMPP supporters and our new group joined to uh, get this thing he was a member of a AMPP House of Assembly no yes. National Assembly yes 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 so so uh, in this meeting that. The shareholder convened. I'm mm. sure he appealed. He appealed to all of us to cooperate, to support, to support him, yeah. and even the government because the security should be, mm. ideally, should be in the hands of the state government. Mm. 
security no the government state government will have have difficulty they can only cooperate in the federal okay yeah. because the police yeah, but, yeah, but they also are important they are important yeah. the police is federal yeah the the was military is of course federal yeah. the sss is federal yeah. so all the security chiefs uh, bodies yeah. are federal yeah but so they have, the federal have to work they are working together in terms of uh, cooperation yeah federal government has to of course that is not a, whether it is its own party state or not, it has but, to. But even you, mm. even though you are not in government, mm. you are also a key stakeholder. But I'm not, I have no good. power now, no power, I have no power now. Yeah, but you have people behind you, people who support well, you. Well, well, who well, well, not, the, not with the uh, President Boko Haram. Yeah. No, 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 is a whole thing. Well, uh, aha, you are right. Yeah. You are right. That's yeah. why the show called us all yes, of us now. Yes. Under normal circumstances, you would not have uh, you would have been fear to You are right. Yes. Yes. That is the idea. That yes. is the idea of now all of us yes. coming together. We suddenly we, we it is not in our interest. Not in what anybody from Bordeaux or anywhere. It is not in anybody's interest to uh, see this sort of thing happening and not as, as assisting in the course. We are all keen on doing that, and certainly that was the idea, and uh, all have, uh, we have all fully, and that is why we set up a committee now to be the link, so that uh, whether the chef has uh, something, you can tell us. We have something, you can tell him. We, we, we want to meet, we, that is the continuous now game. That is what is going on. This is correct. This is correct. So, uh, mm, this is correct. So, so, in your own personal mm -hmm. view, how do you think this problem can be overcome of this uh the security problem because that's a major problem we have now we, we, it's, we, it's challenging, they, they, they have challenging to, the development uh, of the state and is sending people away from the state it's true yeah as i said you know in anything governments have the major role to play federal and state governments are the strongest bodies that will ensure security we as individuals we don't have anything most of my, you don't have any uh, uh, organization. You can advise. Who I do that? Because you have an experience. Yes. You have experience as a former chief executive of this. Yeah, place. who are you going to advise? Well, there's a government. Which government? Both yes, the federal, state federal, and federal, the federal, the law. Federal, the law. The state, uh, the, mm -hmm. that, that is also a the state, that is what we show, for example. Because the show is a common man. He's common to all. Everybody. Uh, uh, so, it's. You are right. That is where we our 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 advice or cooperation is happening. Not that we can, we don't uh, uh, co cooperate with the government itself because the government itself has difficulty in the sense that it is not the in control of the security chiefs, security organizations. You know, I I, I had a similar problem years ago when when uh, I, I was not quite with the police. You know, police. I uh, because when you have democracy, you have difficulty in agreeing with a body which is not under your control. But you are the chief security officer of the state. So, unless the party is the same as the federal and the state, the crisis may not be easily solved. So, are you supporting? establishing state police so that the governor will have power no 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 i will not support that so how does the how does the governor now you know in this it's, it's a question of getting the right people you know what is failing is the leadership this is you know you are consistently they say what is the uh, electing the right people correct leadership honest and know what they are doing and that is, if you can do it, that will be the only thing that will improve the situation. Yeah, but uh, mm -hmm. electing the right leadership yes. has the time. If you already have a government in power now, mm -hmm. the, if it, it, only be legit, it can only be legitimately removed. Assuming it's not removed, mm -hmm. and it has four years to spend. Yes, yes. So, yes. so do we allow them to just run the state no, no, the federal, no, no, the federal government, I'm sure I'm listening to them. Is it the position now, mm -hmm. now that this government is not doing what it's supposed to do, mm -hmm. assuming you, 
were, were able to be there as the government. Mm, mm. What solution would you have for these problems? Oh, that, uh, the, 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 that's the whole idea. The whole idea is that I know what to do. I can boast of that because I had earlier bigger governments of Borno two states of now. And uh, uh, the people have themselves uh, confessed that, look, because you have done years ago, only as you are, you should please come back. So I know what governance is. I am different from these other people because one, today's, as I told you, style is all corrupted government, not the right to intervene. I told you how I was elected. I was a way civil servant in Lagos, working for a uh, federal government company, national supply company. Earlier, I was a civil servant of the borough, transferred to the national supply company. And, uh, uh, and another key thing is, even my makeup, I did public administration for my degree at the APU. Uh, uh, specializing in international relations. Uh, that's why I also a broad based. I even applied to if they could employ me in the foreign service. Uh, but this my state asked me to go to them in Borno. But then lost his yeah. so, so one, I, I, I was basically qualified for the job in terms of the academic aspect of it. Two, throughout I had been a civil servant. And even when I went to the federal, it was a very government company, it was similar. National supply company dealing with essential commodities for the welfare of the people, for people to buy at subsidized prices. They called me away to come and do because they knew during my duo, you know, have you ever of the district officers? Yeah. This, your, this, yeah. this is a European. Yeah. They know they are very, very proud of people, the duos. Uh, so, because they knew, for example, if we took Gombe, Gombe State now, I was a uh, uh, sole administrator duo then in Gombe. The whole of now where governor is was under me, very young boy. I even married in Gombe. You know? But the people of Gombe, even now, uh, the under the ones we tell them they knew of what happened. Because, and I was in Azare. That is Katabu, where Bochi State is. You know? so, and, and, um, so, in short, I had the practical experience of handling governments in his my profession too. So, and two, that I will be also advantaged in the sense that the federal and the state governments are in the same party. They are the same party. So, that will get, give you bigger cooperation from the federal. Because, why I'm saying this is because I knew how I suffered when my government was different from the federal. But we still have uh, um, the case of Plato and Kaduna, which are also PDP states. And, uh, ah, I'm coming to you. No, no, I'm coming. I thought you were asking me how, how you can improve this thing. Yes. So I'm giving you my background of how qualified I am oh, okay. to the service okay. and what I can do. Okay. The advantages I have and so I've given you the reasons why I feel that I could have done better than where that it is. Uh -huh. People of today, one, they do not have the experience. Two, it may be they are not even quite uh, their, their profession. Yes, yeah, fine. Once, once, this is why I'm running, I'm yes. telling you that one, I will have the advantage of federal government seeing with me, you no? Know? And with that federal government with me, all the security chiefs will be under me. I can be able to handle them more firmly and with co uh, confidence than somebody from a different party. In other words, even the security uh, uh, chiefs are responsible to me and they feel it like this. Why I was bringing this old one was because at the time I was at this thing, I had even called with police because we were in different parties. You know? Uh -huh. But now, I know that with that advantage, you have all of these security chiefs under you, are responsible to you, and you can be more effective and competent to do it because it's a job you know you have done, you can do. These are my reasons.
you are, so you have, only, you have now told us the qualifications you have to be able to deal to with this the situation and bring about peace. So how would you do it? Having gotten all these qualifications, what would you have done different from these people? Ah, this cooperation from federal government, okay. plus the chiefs under you, responsible to you, all this shows you how you administrate qualification, qualification for handling the situation. Because now the soldier can speak different, the military and the police can speak different, uh, and the SNS can speak different. But if it is in the same party, they will have to listen to you because you are talking direct to the president. So All this I will do. So are you now saying that the federal government is helping to undermine no, the state? No, no, since no, 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 no. I am saying I will be more qualified because of this. Yeah, they, are, so, they, so, they are doing the job. So they are, the, so they are also in the undermining the state government no. because they are not the same party. No. What I am saying is I am more more of their ban yeah. and the government is their own government. It's so the federal government's government. Yeah. And the, the, I'm telling you about the difficulty I was having when the federal and the state were different. Yeah. Because you always have this conflict, political conflict coming in to interfere the thing. So if I am in that place, I'm more qualified, more confident of getting federal government support, getting security support because they are, they will be now uh, uh, too, uh, too willing to see with me. Uh, but here is a situation where you know the governor is the chief security, but the officers are not his employees. I'm not talking of the difficulty. Not that they are not doing the job, no, but it cannot be as smooth as if you, you are from the same party. Not that they are undermining him now, no, but it, he may, he may, it may not be easy for the cooperation to be as effective as uh, as would have been if the uh, governor, if the government were of the same party. So what would you say about the case of Plato State and uh, Kaduna State? They are also in the big government. Yeah. The federal government is their party. But why are they finding it difficult to deal with this problem? Well, uh, I told you, but these are the, you know that they are doing it. Yeah, the, 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 the crisis is, 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 has been low, there for long. It's a religious one, my view. It's a religion, more religious one. It's more religious, isn't it? And the religious issue is a very difficult one. Very difficult for anybody. You have to be. Uh, you have to be. Uh, so you now agree with me that Borno's case is not a religious. No, no. I've never talked to you. It's religious. No, no. So it's not a religious. No, it's not. So it's more political. No, you can't, you can't say more political too. So yes. what is it? I really don't know. What is it's a mixture of all, maybe. It's a mixture of all. You see, you have let, you know, people can, you find a situation where, haven't I told you today, the game is so bad that you cannot even be sure you have confidence in your own party in certain areas. You own to claim to be your own party. And that, as I tell you repeatedly, it is this corruption thing which has spoiled it. I'm telling you. But uh, still, all the same ones you undertake it, you have to commit yourself to it. And the commitment, I don't think, the, the leadership is not as it used to be in the past. So, uh, so even if the, uh, the Kaduna and the Thing, these are historical things which have been, been going on for long. We only needed to have, uh, for, for example, for example, uh, if I don't know what you, you, you may have a different opinion, but uh, 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 I was telling you of when we were in school that we never knew any differences in religion. How can you compare, for example, a Solomon Lab with the, the leadership of today? And the leadership counts a lot. And I'm telling you of a situation where I even went to the extent of I said be appointed from another state, chief justice judge, another state. So, 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 so the political texture, you know, has been corrupted to the extent of bringing in a very new culture, 
who will suffer more because we have got enough of what we need so far, alhamdulillah. And we would want them to leave behind um, a legacy um, that they will be proud of, that they will also leave to the uh, generation to come. And um, as I said it, uh, uh, there's, there's no point for anybody to resort to violent, more so to kill him, uh, because it doesn't pay. It's the other, in fact, offends both sides, the killed and the killer. And um, the children, as I said it, they know it during um, our years ago, that that was my listing, because they are greater in number, they made the governments, if they want it. But I would want also to appeal to the leadership of the country, from the federal to the state to the local government, that we should try to ensure that good people are chosen for these games. Because once we don't have the good leadership, once you don't have to wash out this corruption going on, once you don't have the, um, the, the mentality to ensure that people don't suffer, even if you are enjoying, you know that your enjoyment cannot be um, complete without your neighbors having the minimum uh, they could get to eat and live on. And therefore, we pray and we are asking you know, everybody in the country uh, to ensure that um, we become real uh, our brothers keep us. Issues of religion, issues of tribe, issues of all other differences as should be set aside because if we look at it, uh, Nigeria is a big country and in the past uh, our parents, people who are years ago lived together as uh, brothers and sisters and uh, I can assure you that even during our time when we were young in school, in fact, we had been more friends in the other state than in our own state, and I can't see why the same thing did not be happening. And uh, once we, we have, uh, any part of Nigeria is paid, uh, the whole Nigeria suffers because of that federation, and it is essential that we, have, of course, make sure that this provision of facilities uh, for the welfare of the people are evenly distributed. That is important. Because people are, they have learned, particularly younger people, they have learned enough to refuse to be cheated. And there is a need for our government to realize this, that there should be a way by which you know, all governments have um, to at the advantage being uh, taken as part of the same system. See, even though different means, but these means should be used uh, broadly for the welfare of all. Because during our time, I remember uh, there were times even when state government would go and borrow from other governments. Uh, my government, for example, did in education when they go state government, they was the governor. Uh, and because they felt so much about education and the, the money they gave, and we later paid this back. And similarly, all these states should be working together as one. Uh, there's a need for that one. So we pray. And please, about Russia, stop what is happening. And I appeal in this sense more to the youth. The whole of the North, Borneo, uh, Kano, um, uh, Plateau, Kaduna, all this, we should look at our uh, religious differences or the political or anything because now we cannot separate. We should be one nation and our brothers keep us. That's my appeal. Okay. Okay. Well, the new people have done very well. So, reshuffle it correctly and put it right. So that I hope uh, you enjoy it. Uh, and I wish, I want to thank His Excellency for giving us this real opportunity to interview him and to accept to respond to some of our questions. We are uh, really grateful. Uh, this interview took place in the United Kingdom on his visits and uh, it was not something that was scheduled and uh, I want to thank you and we hope that uh, when you go back you have a safe return back and then you continue to give your elderly advice to the 
state, especially with the security problem we have, which uh, you have said you hope is something that you want to see the end. Mm -hmm. uh, we hope we wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I would like to thank you too again for this uh, opportunity to give me in the United Kingdom. And uh, it's a pleasure as well to be seeing our people here and uh, watching and listening. And at the same time, alert to what is happening in the country. In fact, some of the questions are so difficult, but all the same, it shows the searching interest you will have also over what is happening in our country. And we pray that uh, there will be peace, uh, harmony, and unity in the country. Thank you very much.